hello guys welcome once again and welcome to my channel today in this video i will be showing you how you can add subdomains to your server or your domain so let's get started with this video hey guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can never miss an update so guys first of all you have to go to your uh, godaddy account firstly i'll tell you what i have to do is here is my website skipabit.com and this is the website Currently, I am facing an issue like the issue is I am not able to access my API because it's on uh, another server and I don't want to use it using uh, IP address. Uh, so, I will be using a, a subdomain. So, what you have to do is you have to just go to your domain portfolio on GoDaddy or wherever your uh, domain is set up. Just click uh, and go to your uh, DNS management of your domain. So, you can see your DNS option is here i'll just click on dns option and you will able to see some kind of dns records like this so simply you have to add a new record uh, if you have a, a domain or let's say if you have a subdomain uh, you can directly use cname so here i will be using a record because i will be using an ip here so the ip address is this and i'll just save it here you can write the full name but I am already only using API let me just explain you you can see here it's already C name is added www.skipabit because right now I am using a subdomain so I have used API here so once this is done you have to go to your hosting manager uh, and you can see here I am using digital ocean here so here also I will be using adding a A record here so I will just write API so you can see here api.skipabit is my subdomain I want to use and this will be redirecting to this IP and I'll just create this record and uh, this is saved. Uh, the variable time is around approximately 10 to 15 minutes it will take to reflect. Instead of showing this can, site cannot be read it should show like this cannot get. So let's wait. So guys you can see here now it is visible and you can see here it's working fine now uh, when I am trying to reload using my subdomain you can see this it's working so in this way you can add subdomain to your domain hosting and that's all for today's video if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button thanks for watching this video and bye for now.